and are ma we are majoring in television and cross media culture. Um, it's part of media and culture program, which is um, we are the first ones who were able to switch to do this major. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, a little bit about me. I am third year student, so I'm graduating in um, in two months. I'm 23. Um, I was born in Russia, but I grew up in Finland. I'm currently doing, well, I'm studying, of course, but I'm currently also doing internship at Food Circle as a social media and promotions team leader. I also do, um, I am part of a team for a bus house. That's a Uva sponsored project. And I also do promotions for off screen, which is a study association for media. Hi, um, I'm Maria. I'm also a third year student. Um, I'm graduating in two months as well. Um, I'm 21, I'm from Singapore. And in terms of like what I'm doing, I'm currently working at Signify, uh, formerly known as Philips Lighting, as a global marketing and communications intern. Um, in terms, uh, that's about it for now. But uh, previously, I've worked in both influencer marketing, sales and fashion. Um, as well as social media in my third year. Well, second to third year, yeah. Cool. Um, so let's dive in a little bit in our study. So this is the courses for second year. And um, the media and culture program, share, they have two tracks, so two majors, television and film. Uh, we do share a lot of same uh, same classes, which are uh, the global media culture, uh, media time and space, and both philosophy classes. Uh, however, what is specific to our what major, major is advanced topics in media and culture, and then of course, television analysis and practices. Um, yeah, Ria, do you wanna yeah, add so, something? Yeah, yeah sorry, um, um, film has the same things in terms of, television analysis so they have their own film analysis version and film practices um in terms of specialization it's very relatively generic um advanced topics is also the same in film um the only thing that's really special specialized to television is uh the fact that we do practical towards television and a practical of television analysis but other than that uh the second year of media culture is relatively the same. So you wouldn't see that much of a difference, but yeah. So if you're interested more really focused on TV, this is what you should go for. Uh, we don't really analyze any film. It's solely based on news, TV, um, like any types of TV, whether that be reality, whether that be TV show, whether that be documentaries, um, a lot of Netflix, a lot of news segments. Yeah. Yeah, if I would also, um, and I've been asked this question before, what is the difference between film and TV? And I think the main difference is that we study uh, audience. So we really try to find how to talk to our audience, um, how to reach mass, uh, mass media, um, sorry, mass uh, audiences and talk to yeah, different audiences. Uh, meanwhile, film is concentrating more how to make the content and how to analyze the 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 content um yeah. yeah i would i would agree with that 100 percent and it's also we think about it in terms of consumer of the way consumers will see a particular thing on tv rather than what what is our thought in putting into the film do you, do you guys get what i mean like so we instead of creating like our idea of creating something it's more what would the audience want to see and then what would work and you intentionally put things in um, in relation to maybe like a certain type of politics or certain type of uh, like subject and things like that. Yeah, it's sort of uh, which I find super cool about it is um, you really think of how to represent the culture we're currently living in. So if you think about broadcasting, you can't just, um, you know, come up with just random um, TV show, it has to somehow be relevant to current times and also how people, what people are expecting to see on TV. So, yeah, so that's definitely in, uh, in the courses and uh, in the course um, manual or courses manuals. 
So maybe we'll go on a little bit about the assessments and gradings. So um, nine, I would say 90% uh, the examination comes with essays. So we, we write a lot. And um, only with philosophy, uh, there, was, they were, there was exams. But even in philosophy class, we had to write an essay uh, in midterm. So it's a lot of reading. So mostly um, you are expected to uh, read maybe three articles a week per course. And then me, uh, maybe um, in midterm, you would write smaller essay. And then in the end, you will write a bigger essay. Yeah, um, philosophy exam is really hard. Just heads up, <laughs> just letting <laughs> you know. Big adva advance, you think you know philosophy, this is quite hard. So just know that. Um, but yeah, it's mostly essays. So if you're not good at exams, this is, that was, um, I was leaning between television and information and I'm not a very exam-based person. So like, it sounds kind of superficial and like trying to maximize my passing rate, but I'm not very good at exams. So this really helped me because I could increase my GPA with something that I'm good at. Um, so yeah. And my Same philosophy thing. exam was quite good. So other than that, we're okay. <laughs> well, we both was... passed, so that's fine. So win. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I would agree with that as well. For me, it was quite a stress relief when, um, like, uh, after each course, it was only the essays because you, at some point, you learn how to do it, and you have this, you you see, you know how to structure your essays and how to write uh, and what is expected from you. So, and also you really can choose for yourself the time, how much time you want to and able to put into your work. Um, so yeah, personally, I've been really liking this way of grading. Okay, um, so based on, every, on our major, since now we're in our third year, um, I would definitely say the only way um, the major is affecting your third year is for your thesis because uh, you learn a lot of concepts about a specific area here television um, and with your thesis you're uh, you're put in a group also with another tv students and based on everything you've learned in the past um, year you're able to use it in your thesis so in that sense, it's really helpful. Um, me and Jana are both, so Jana did her thesis in the beginning of the year while I'm doing mine at the end. And we both are in two different um, thesis groups. Uh, for media culture, the thesis group does not matter as much. So at least for us, maybe because we are the beginning, um, but it, if you go into this, you are not going to be able to do some other topics that you think you could. For example, I my roommate is in media information and she is doing something about sound systems and like AI and Alexa, which you would not really be able to do when you're coming out of a media culture. Instead, you would have to do, again, about a TV show or like consumer behavior or something like that. Yeah. Right now I'm doing mine about Nike advertisements and Yana did hers about uh, MasterChef. Reality TV, yeah. yeah. Specifically MasterChef. So, it's that's something you should it doesn't really affect you that much because at the end of the day you should the keep thesis thesis is up to you but it is something that you need to keep in mind yeah it yeah. does kind of exist yeah so so in that sense yeah yeah well since we're uh, talking about thesis um so since me and Ria were literally the first ones who were able to switch to media and culture um, we, well, TV group was very small, uh, so uh, two years ago, it was only 12 people, I think, in, um, mm -hmm. yeah, all together. English speaking, yeah. English speaking, yes. So before that, it was completely Dutch course. Um, most of the people who transferred from information to culture went to film, so they had few groups. We we're more of a... Um, um, the the special Exclusive. ones, yeah. <laughs> special, <laughs> exactly. But that also means for us, uh, we had only one group for thesis. So I did my thesis, like Ria said, in my first semester, 
um, and I had only one group, so I couldn't choose any other group. And there was only five people, uh, which also meant that everyone was doing a little bit different thesis. However, um, you get a bit more focus time also from the teacher. And yeah. it's, I would say out of everything, TV is much, much more flexible than most of the other three courses in media. For example, whether that be information or film, um, TV is quite flexible. So if if you're not 100% sure with something you want to do, TV is a really good option because you have a lot of like wing space. You could change whenever you want. Um, and yeah, there's nothing really holding you down as much, but we'll get into that after. Yeah, um, exactly. Like even from the name of the major, I know that um, we tend to concentrate on the first part, which is television, um, but it's also set television and cross media culture, which is a massive part of this program. Um, cross media is, um, is using same storytelling through different uh, platforms. Well, that's sounds media, but cross media as well, like how we use different, um, different, um, um, what is it? Phones, computers, whether it, devices, oh, yeah, and how we experience media through these devices. How we're able to to tell a story on different platforms, like Game of Thrones as uh, as a show, or as a book, or as a game, or as a or as a fandom, but and things fandom, like that. Exactly. Yeah. So it's much much more than this. So, um, but yeah, we will get I think a little bit more into it. Um, soon <laughs> okay um popular career path um i think me and ria struggled a little bit with this because like we just said um honestly with this major if you're really into this topic you have so many options um it's not that you automatically gonna do something with tv even though i personally like tv um ria for example is going into ads and marketing yeah, so um, of course, television production is something that is an obvious thing that comes along with it. Um, that could be broadcasting, that could be you working for a sports um, company, things like that. But I wanted to go into advertising. Um, so I do a bit of social media advertising and marketing at the same time. But in this day and age, that all comes into one. You kind of learn everything together. So so far it has not stopped me from um anything but the one thing you do need to understand is you're still coming out of a ba and not a bsc um which means marketing and advertising but you will come to a certain level of um like a certain degree you can only go till a certain degree because you're not doing um, a corporate communications degree um i will if anyone has more questions about it of course i can answer it in the question section but it's basically um so i've done a few internships now and i'm doing quite a big internship at a big company right now um so with the position that i am in you can do a more of a business to consumer internship but if you were going into a career with business to business that wouldn't really be a path that you could take um because we're not coming out of a like a quantitative research type of degree so career paths is quite open but of course there will be some things that you will see that um will come in the way um marketing is nowadays social media marketing is one of the biggest things influencers is one of the biggest things this would be something that you could of course take with television you could go into Again, like I said, production and content creation. But then again, if you had to do videography, you would have to have your own portfolio. And maybe this path wouldn't be that to become that, you would rather do film. So if that is something you wanna do, I would say television is not your thing because we don't create enough content to be able to have a portfolio. So portfolio-based jobs is not something that you can get out of television. Instead, that would be something you'd get out of film. Uh, we're more of content creation in a smaller scale. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, understanding sense. the content yeah. and how to sell the content, how to um, 
reach to the audience to for them to be interested in this content, etc. I think um, most popular career path from a TV major, I guess, is going into in digital um, digital television production. So you know, smaller companies, but basically Netflix, HBO in that area. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's not a lot really of that... a lot of media agencies, um, a lot of ad heavy agencies, a lot of gaming PR, and games. yeah, yeah, PR agencies, also, yeah, yeah, a lot and of it PR also agencies, depends yeah. what kind of um, masters you want to do after this, because a lot as some people they really want to start to make content, so they do um, something more um, practical after. Uh, bachelor, this bachelor's. So yeah, I know it can be quite intimidating to think that this, you have so many options, but honestly, it's it's quite liberating at the same time because you will never think back and think like, oh, what did I do this uh, bachelor's? Because um, yeah, it's pretty Yeah, and also awesome. with this um, bachelor, getting into a career is nice because you can start somewhere, but because you have learned so much, um, there is always time to step up. Um, you're not kind of stuck to one thing, which I was saying, for example, in film, you don't get this consumer behavior. You don't understand holistically as a company. You don't. You kind of more focus on the creation and cinematography and the art more than like both sides, which is content creation and selling your content. So you with film, you kind of put into a, box um while with television you have a lot of room to explore and you can start wherever you want but you can always switch because you have the experience of being able to do all different sections yeah couldn't say it better um yeah and the skills that you come out of this uh definitely analytical and critical argumentation skills. So doing my internship now, I can see how, I, I, I didn't even notice that I learned so much um, how things work um, and now actually able to, to use that knowledge in my um, work life. So understanding question, like um, questioning the, the content, what it means, constantly seeing the patterns um, of, of what was the, the thought behind the scenes because nothing in TV comes out of nowhere. Nothing is random. Everything has been very well thought because it's gonna be shown for millions of people. So you will see TV very differently, which will help you, um, yeah, in some way will help you in future. But if we talk about more practical skills, we do have one course, which is television practices, where you are practicing TV. Uh, me and Ria got extremely unlucky that um, COVID hit exactly when we had this course. And everyone was looking forward for this because we were supposed to um, create mini series um, with a small group of people. We would go to television station here, I think in Hilversum, um, and we would actually film something in the studio, in the actual like studio. So really good content, but um, COVID. COVID sucked. Um, and I was back home. Jana was here. Our other person was back home, like both of them. So we were trying to communicate through the phone and try to film with our own shitty cameras. So, you know, like it was fun, but it was, you guys different. definitely gonna have much better luck with this. So that's something, if you're someone who's super into content creation and wants something to put on a portfolio, you know, something to be proud of, this is your TV yeah. practices is your thing to be, yeah. Yeah, um, and from this course, I did learn something. So I uh, did my very first graphic design um on completely like new platform for me so we did have to push ourselves to explore um Ria was editing I think for the first time 
yeah. we were yeah we were use, creating like, websites exactly yeah we were doing a lot i i learned how to use premiere pro and final cut so that was nice mm-hmm. it was very good but it was you know like any other <laughs> stuff for the first time to... it was great yeah for, for so... the first time it was really good but other than that it was but you know it's nice because it's something that you've never tried before and you're really really trying mm-hmm. um yeah so it's and then you kind of can see for yourself if it's something that you would like to explore more so after this course you can you know start um you know a project with your friends or join a group uh or or a other project and explore these uh skills more so i guess that's the main point of the this course to kind of push yeah. you to explore Okay, um, so yeah, we talked a little bit also about the extra collaterals. Um, yeah, I struggle with this <laughs> word. <laughs> um, this is extremely important if you do TV. TV is not very heavy loaded work-wise uh, major. You don't have too many classes, especially after first year. Um, you will see that it's a little bit more relaxed or laid back. Uh, and you do have a little bit more time to spare. So please, if you if you do have that time, do an internship or a minor, or you can have a part-time job as well. Um, uh, be part of the association. I was in my second year. I, I had a part-time job and I did off screen. So I, um, I was a, a party committee uh, member. So, and I was doing fine. I passed all my classes and it was completely fine for me. Um, I think second year is definitely a great opportunity for doing something on your free time. Because um, if 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 you will do the TV track, you will notice that a lot of people start also explore more what they want to do after school. Um, with this degree, of course, you can you can get a job. However, um, it's uh, um, it's kind of this un 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 said rule un, exactly that yeah. you are expected to have something on your free time because whoever did this program knew that it's not that heavy on school, but it is you you are supposed to um, explore what you wanna do after this and and gain that practical experience uh, next to your next to your studies. Yeah, um, like for me, internship is something that I would 100% recommend every student to do. Uh, when you're leaving this field, um, living in the Netherlands for like three years now, we've realized that it's very experience valued. Um, of course, we're not saying that grades don't matter or anything. Of course, your degree matters, grades matter. But um, when you're coming out of something like media and that to television and cross media, you come out with a degree, but nothing else to show other than school, you're not going to be valued as highly because there are other, so many other people who have equally the same amount of things, but they have creative they used to do, I don't know how they play like a freelance videographer or have worked one year in like a luxury brand or anything, you know? Or have created content. Exactly. They made short documentaries or they, I don't know, they they edit videos, they do music. Exactly. Um, So um, TV and well, the whole media and culture, I think program, is very full of talented people who also Mm want to do academic uh, degree or have an academic Mm -hmm. degree and so kind of balancing both of these is important yeah i yeah exactly um i think just taking the time to be able to doing things that you like to do that would also happen to help you in your career is something that's important of course it's fine you know you don't want to do anything you don't want to do anything but personally I would say to do it just because it gives that extra push and then when you're done there's just this you have so much to show you know 
Like it's not only that's coming out of school, it's kind of other things that you can show that you would be proud of, I guess. Yeah, and also our teachers always encourage us more to do on our free time to explore things which we want to do. So they also understand that um, this this program is very much about the self development. And yeah, they really get that though, by the way, guys. So like, if you are doing something on the side, for example, that be an internship or something, they will really understand that part. Um, and they will be quite like with work and things like that, it will be quite okay. It won't be that much of an issue. So that's, if you, surprisingly, yeah. If that's something you're worried about, you shouldn't be because it is something that they look at. Also, you can get credits out of your internship, heads up. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. There we go. Okay, um, yeah, um, what was unexpected? Well, should I go? Since, or you wanna yeah, go? go for it, go. Um, career expectations. Um, we're an arts degree, not a social science degree. Like I said before, there are things that you will not be able to do that maybe you like. For me personally, that's what happened. Um, I had uh, applied for a press office, which you would think is journalism, cross media, you can do that, great. Unfortunately, that is not the case because that comes under corporate communications. So sometimes they say, they expect um, something in media that doesn't always be all media. Um, that is something that is a bit tricky and it sucks, but it is what it is. Um, doors doesn't mean doors are closed, but just means there are some things in media that you will not be able to do that I didn't know because sometimes you need a higher level of an analytical skill. For example, quantitative research that we don't have um maybe yeah by the way, native we, oh yeah sorry go ahead yeah we do so we do um quali 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 qualitative quali quali yeah, but we don't do quantitative exactly so we um look into text or series and stuff like that but not um percentage like 63 percent so of people KPIs watch this show like that yeah we don't do that so we just read a specific text of um, highly recognized academics and how they experience media. Keep going. Oh, um, I'm a native English speaker. English is, um, uh, we did a course, so television practices, was it? No, analysis, analysis. where the speakers came to talk to us. Which one was that? remember we oh, tv people um, came to talk to us practices right oh, so oh, no matter. we did both there was okay. also remember in television practices okay. sorry so um there's one of the courses where it's specified to television people come to speak to you um and this unfortunately for us uh maybe because it's the new course um a lot of them are from dutch companies um looking for necessarily not not only dutch speaking of course but english speaking but you will definitely have the upper hand if you speak dutch um media agencies here um of course are dutch based and have dutch clients therefore would be more inclined to having dutch uh interns so that is a bit of a also, especially now of covid so with covid that is something that I would consider, but you know what? You guys might be probably really lucky and that's not gonna happen to you guys because you're not coming in the COVID time, you're graduating in two years. Um, but yeah, that is something that was unexpected for us. We were kind of in like shock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that was something that um, I think teachers didn't think about, think about in the beginning because they were like, no, no, if, the, um, if our guests are able to speak English, that would be enough. But mm -hmm. it felt a little bit excluded because um there wasn't really any future kind of like connection there with the with the speakers but we're now just telling our experience and like we said this is we were the first ever to do this course so maybe they weren't prepared now it's been two years uh well you're gonna be the the third 
year of mm -hmm. starting this um, major. So things can change, of course. So I don't want to scare you off or anything, but this can happen. So um, we rather say it's than um, the way it yeah. is, then it's not the way it is it, and how we experienced it. Mm -hmm. And also, not, oh, yeah, sorry. Go. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, we skip the main, the it's mainly theory. So uh, keep in mind that even though it sounds very creative and fun, um, except that one course that we explained, it is just academic. Um, so reading, writing, um, not much. Um, there's not much creativity with this um, syllabus or with this program. Um, for me, I I don't know. I maybe I was I was expecting a little bit more, but a lot of students didn't know that this uh, program would uh, wouldn't have any uh, practicality in that sense. A um, bit more. We expected a bit more practicality. Yeah, than there was because yeah. Because it sounds very practical uh, program, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. but it's not, except that one course. So yeah. keep that in mind. Okay. Um, well, wanted to maybe uh, talk a bit more about third year. Um, so if we think about the major, um, it's mainly only for second year. So you will have these specific classes that will teach you more about TV. However, in your third year, you can choose, it's only elective. So you can choose whatever courses you want. Um, so I, well, I did which my- Which is awesome, um, by the way. Yeah, which is awesome. You can literally you can do learn whatever more. you want. Yeah. Yeah. So I did my thesis. I had a history class and now I'm doing my minor. And I do my minor in communication science. Um, which I love because I think it's really cool to combine qualitative and quantitative um, approach to media. So a lot of media students has been taking the same minor or um, yeah, any other. Um, um, I so just I would took random courses. Uh, yeah. yeah, I didn't really care about a minor, unfortunately. I just took courses that sounded kind of good to me. Um, a course I would definitely not recommend, just media law, media ethics is not what you expect. Yeah. And doing journalism studies is also not journalism. So I just needed to put that out yeah, there. Yeah, I just, um, if, so the, if whatever minor you choose, it's not that you are now forever stuck, stuck with, with that. this. <laughs> yeah. No, even if you don't want to do your thesis, about TV, like oh, one of uh, one of the my classmate, she wanted to. She was in my class and she did the same major as I did, um, but she wrote her thesis about TikTok and Instagram Reels. So she went, you know, more of a on information side. So there is no stress about that. It's like you can't decide and you're like, oh, what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, and uh, we can't tell for everyone what what the what people will do after this, but um, I want to go into television uh, production in gastronomy, so that's what I'm gonna try to find after this um, study. Well, I do. I'm gonna do TV um, masters first, and then yeah, this. Um, I'm not doing a master's right now. I am trying to look for a job as a brand marketeer or a specialist in communications. Um, yeah, I'm finishing an internship for about six months. So the push is to kind of find a job. Um, yeah, so it's mine is kind of all over the place in the sense that I'm open um, to doing either in ads uh, but marketing is the main focus for me, whether that be um, social media marketing or even brand marketing or, yeah, but just nothing like I need to do supply chain or something because I don't know any of that. So, yeah, it's more on the, you would say, uh, less analytical side, more, 
I mean, I have to have a certain level of um, analysis, but yeah, it's nothing. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it. But just brand <laughs> market here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and you can always find us on LinkedIn if you need to. Yeah, you can Take ask those us connections. any questions. <laughs> yeah. And ask us really any questions because um, when we started this major, we had so many questions and not that many answers. So Hope we, we have them too. now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Thank you guys. Well then, thank you very much for your wonderful and informative presentation. Um, and we are now opening the floor for any remaining questions to our speakers. So guys, if anybody has any, oh. Shall I go back? No. Am I share a screen? Yeah, it's all good. Uh, okay. Well, uh, for any uh, questions that you would like to ask, please uh, either enter the question in the chat and I will address it directly to our speakers. Either you can have the floor and personally ask the question. So go ahead. I see Carlos. I think there's one in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, shall I say it out loud? Oh, I mean, have? you can read them. Either I can read them as soon as you feel comfortable. I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. Yeah, I can read it. Um, <laughs> so uh, where do we see ourselves doing what we see ourselves doing after graduating in two months? So um, yeah, so I am applying currently to do masters, to do um, TV and cross, uh, cross, <laughs> cross media culture masters. And yeah, then um, try to find a job in, in TV production and post-production. Um, I'm trying to find a job. Um, I need to, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find a job. Um, it's a bit harder than you would think, of course. Uh, but you know what? Yeah, that's about it. I'm just trying to find a job and someone to let me stay here. Because I come on a visa, so I need some sponsorship. Yeah, by the way, if you're an international student outside of EU, if you want to live here after graduation, you need to be sponsored by a company who will be willing to pay for your visa. So if any of you are not EU and want to live here, heads up <laughs> but otherwise um, you're okay <laughs> and also you ask how did you find your internship and how has it been so far so i now this is my second or third thing that i do so either work or internship i find on linkedin um linkedin is probably my favorite platform i love it it's your best um, friend guys like <laughs> yeah be, those like, connections on linkedin you will start getting people messaging you about like recruiters asking for things that they see okay i'm um, not that important as ria but yeah <laughs> no um, um but i for me what worked uh, very well because well during covid i didn't really know um so i knew i was studying i can't do full-time internship which is usually the case so i found um an internship that is part-time However, it wasn't paid, which is quite now uh, common, um, COVID times. Um, so I took it and honestly, I am very happy I did, even though yes, it doesn't pay. However, I am gaining so much experience with my studies without wasting another like six months doing an internship. So kind of like um, doing those both. Um, and yeah, well, find it through LinkedIn. Um, yeah, so I've done a total of three internships. So I mean, this is my third one. Um, basically, the first one got cut short because of COVID. And the second one, I realized I didn't like as much. And that was not something I wanted to do. Um, this one, I have been wanting it for two years almost. So it was quite a bit of a hustle um it is linkedin of course um yeah i found mine on linkedin but i found it through uh connections again forget linkedin but just connections in general something that really matters um you make a good impression it does last um i got this internship through reference within the company 
um, because I had applied for something else that someone really liked. Uh, my internship is going great. I really enjoy it. I'm lucky for Yana, I do get paid. Um, you usually do not like it's I've touched wood. I've gotten really lucky about that. But getting paid isn't like a luxury in internships. Um, but it's yeah, I would say it is a bit difficult. I work a 40 hour week. Um, I start at 830. I end at 530 or six. Um, and I'm doing school full time. So it's doable. I'm alive and I'm surviving. Um, so it is very much doable. Um, internships also understand it, you that you're studying. So you need a time off. They will give you the time off. They will never question anything. You know, it's you do you. But yeah, um, I would say you should do uh, oh, for marketing. Oh, sorry. I got distracted by another question. Um, so uh, just going back to the other one. Um, you do want to go somewhere you like because otherwise it's going to be draining and very painful. The next question is for marketing. Do you need to do a master's or are you fine with a bachelor degree? Um, depends. Um, so I want to do a master's, but I'm quite young right now. Um, not planning to do it anytime soon. Um, it depends. I know a lot of people who are doing masters, uh, marketing without a master's, uh, but of course, it depends on the marketing side that you're going into. Within my company, I have a lot of managers who are in very senior positions who do not have a master's, but have a lot of experience within the field that they're doing. Therefore, the master's is not something that is needed. But yes, uh, I would say after a bachelor's, maybe have a bit of a break and then go into your master's. But you do have a master's in marketing, you will definitely be in an upper hand, much better than someone who has a bachelor's and definitely looked at. Um, again, a master's in marketing, at least in UBA, is an MSc. So that is something you need to keep in mind because with this degree, you cannot get an, go into an MSc unless you have taken a communication, social sciences minor or a business administrations minor. So, if that is your plan of doing masters, I didn't know this, which I've kind of hit myself in the foot um, because there's a lot of doors that have closed for me for now, at least. Um, yeah, so if it's something you want to do a masters, I would always recommend to do a masters, like 100% masters. You should do it. It just separates you from the crowd. Um, but if you're thinking about doing it, you should think about always doing a minor in a science because you do need that. You cannot do a master's in marketing without having that. Yeah. I would say that you don't really need it. I've never, yeah, I don't really hear about, it depends what you do, of course, really depends. If you do something creative, if you wanna do something creative after bachelor's, technically you don't need master's. Nobody will care if you, if you are, I don't know, um, uh, editor or if um, you know uh, 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 graphic designer whatever whatever you want to do if um, if you want to go into that kind of job master is irrelevant especially in um, um, in in uh, art um, so but I guess for me, I think I just, I would like it. And um, I feel like I, for me it would be useful, but yeah. To each their It's own. not a must. It's yeah. not like everyone in our yeah. class is like doing masters. Actually, there is less people doing masters. Doing masters than, than there are. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm not doing it right now. Plan to do it, but we'll see. Mm. I am really torn between the film and TV major because both of them focus on areas I'm interested in. Would you say in your opinion that TV cross media is better decision strategically? Like this area of study is more useful career wise. Well, yes. I would say, <laughs> uh, yes. You also, um, by the way, can do both. So you can mix them. That's also very possible. Uh, it's not very common, but it's yeah. possible. You can mix them. Yeah, there's a couple of people who did it. Um, oh, Anastasia. Or, yep, there you go. She did it. Um, so you can do that if you really, really want to do both. Just but talk I think to your study advisor and... 
I think they will it's help most you. important to think about what you want to do. Like, how do you imagine yourself? Um, what kind of job I mean, you would like to have? It's fine, of course. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, right? Like, it's fine. Yeah, Me that's and Yana are just crazy people here, like trying to figure out our life like way too intensely. It's completely fine. If you don't know what you're doing, like that's not even an issue. But personally, TV and cross media is definitely a better decision because when you're in film, you're really in film. Um, I have a Very lot of friends subjective. who are, yeah, I have a lot of friends who are in film. One is going to editing. One is going into uh, production, but like film production, like there's that marketing side of it or any other aspect doesn't really come in. Like film is solely film. Um, with TV, I would say you can do the other stuff with your degree, but then on the side, learn how to create a content, learn how to make a film. You know, you will never get said no to for like equipment from school, nothing happens but you could do that on the side of course with tv but also get the knowledge of tv but with film it's very film. it's much more narrowed yeah it's very 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 focused like uh, most people are going into freelance videographers uh content creation mm -hmm. but yeah i don't know how to explain it. um digital doesn't really come in it you're more on the ones who create everything, the other side of it is not really there. So TV cross media, yes, career-wise, yes. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Are there any other questions remaining? Don't think so. Did we answer all of your questions the way you would hope? Is it clear? Yeah, so so maybe we need to give us a yes. Oh, okay. no. oh, I see. Thank you. Uh, we did decent. For your great and informative answers. And I would like to thank everybody for coming here and hope uh, you have a lovely night. And please follow O20 on Instagram for any new updates and information. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Have a nice Thanks. evening. Bye. 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 Bye.